What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. The beta madness continues. Apple released their fifth beta of iOS 9.3.3 today to developers and I gotta tell you guys, I am very, very surprised with the number of betas Apple has been releasing when it comes to iOS 9.3.3. Just like in the previous betas of iOS 9.3.3, the fifth beta does not have any visible changes, meaning you will not see any new features or design changes throughout the operating system. It's really all just bug fixes contained throughout the operating system. Apple's really been working hard to iron out all of these bugs in iOS 9.3.3, and this is just very surprising that they would release this many betas. Gotta be honest, I've never seen this many betas be released when it comes to such a small update. A two dot update usually does not have this many betas. And now that the iOS 10 beta program is in full throttle and full gear, I would have thought that Apple would stop releasing iOS 9.3.3 betas and just cut to the chase. When you think about it, it does make sense because the iOS 9.3.3 operating system is going to be the last version that runs on the older devices like the iPhone 4S and iPhone 5. So Apple is attempting to keep those devices functional if you want to keep them running for the next couple months or years. And they want to make the 9.3.3 public release as good as they possibly can make it. That being said, there really is not much to show you guys in iOS 9.3.3 beta 5, so I'm not really going to do a review on it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because it was released today, and you guys probably were going to ask me the question anyway, so hopefully that answers most of your guys' questions. Now moving on, I did want to make this into a jailbreak update video, as the title will tell you guys. So let's talk a little bit about the jailbreak. First off, Apple has released iOS 10 beta 2 to developers. To learn all about that operating system, go ahead and click the little annotation right there. It'll take you to my video that I uploaded this week detailing all of the new features of iOS 10 beta 2. Now the jailbreak itself is very, very interesting. If you guys watched my jailbreak video last week, which will also be in an annotation right here, the Pangu team actually demoed their jailbreak that they have for iOS 10 working at the MoSec 2016 conference. Pangu actually has a working jailbreak for the iOS 10 firmware, which I have installed right here on my iPhone 6. Now, although they did show this jailbreak for iOS 10 beta 1 and iOS 10 beta 2 is out, I assume that the same actual concept will apply to all of the betas in iOS 10. Also, after the conference, Pangu had a question and answer session and they did answer a couple questions hinting that there is an iOS 9.3.3 and 9.3.2 jailbreak in the works by them that they may be releasing soon to the public, which is absolutely great news. Now, adding to this good news, iOS 10 beta 2, Muscle Nerd, a famous hacker, actually tweeted, Apple has basically left iOS 10 beta 1 and beta 2 intentionally unencrypted. The kernel is unencrypted, which means that jailbreaking is actually that much easier. Now, I'm not a hacker. I don't know the exact details of this, but basically this means a lot of the system files are not encrypted and allows jailbreak teams to actually work that much harder on the jailbreak because it's that much easier to accomplish. This does not mean that your personal information is unencrypted. Your personal information is always going to be encrypted on a separate part of the hard drive, but the kernel being unencrypted actually makes jailbreaking a little bit easier, so I'm very excited for that. It just goes to show that Pangu may be releasing their jailbreak for at least iOS 9.3.3 and 9.3.2 a little bit earlier, and we may have a jailbreak for iOS 10 before we know it as well this fall. So although iOS 9.3.3 beta 5 does not have that many new features and it's all bug fixes, we do have iOS 10 beta 2 to developers out there to play around with and install if we would like. The iOS 10 beta 2 is unencrypted with its kernel, and Pangu may be releasing the iOS 9.3.3 and 9.3.2 jailbreak or an iOS 10 jailbreak before we know it. So this is all really good news and I hope you guys think so too. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down there in the description. I'm going to try to do a questions and answers video here soon because you guys have a lot of questions that I would like to answer. So stick around for that video. It should be uploaded in the next couple of weeks. As always, if you like these jailbreak videos, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button right down there in the video or below the video. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. That's my number one social network. And I also have a Facebook page, a website, and a Google Plus page down there for you guys to follow. If you like free stuff, I've also got links down there for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And stick around for more iOS videos, guys. I will try to keep you guys updated. I'm just very, very into all these hacks. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. As usual, stay awesome. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.